Behind me protrudes our nation's first national monument named Devil's Tower. This amazing landmark stands on the edge of the Wyoming Black Hills. While there is lots of debate surrounding the exact formation of Devil's Tower, it is agreed that the formation occurred with the uplift of the Black Hills. The tower stands 1,200 feet above the Belfouche River and is comprised of many hexagonal shaped columns. These columns formed when less dense magma cooled around denser rock. Native American tribes with historic ties to the area consider the tower sacred for its spiritual values. There are different explanations for how the tower came to be in existence, with most explaining the columns being created by a giant bear that was trying to reach fellow tribe members on top of the tower. Rock climbing is very popular on the tower. The tower was first climbed in 1893 by two local ranchers using wooden pegs made of ash and oak. George Hopkins, in 1941, even parachuted on top of the tower and was rescued six days later. The tower hosts thousands of visitors each year, with many making the climb. If you are ever in the area, make sure to enjoy the scenic views of this monument. From the University of Wyoming Extension, I'm Brian Sebade, exploring the nature of Wyoming.